Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can calculate the quarter to date cumulative val values or the running total uh, where using one function the quarter to date values uh, that basically returns a date of table that contains nothing but those dates which are occurring in the quarter. So I'll show you in a couple of seconds how to do that. Before that, just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel, then this link, which is a live Google spreadsheet link is present in the description from where you can easily access all of my Power BI videos, which I have been posted so far. You can search any of my previous video and jump on it using the link, which is present in the column B. So that should basically help you in, in case if you are looking for a specific topic or you want to create your own playlist based on the videos which I have posted, then you can do that very easily. All right, with that, let's move on to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI. So in my previous, um, previous uh, video, I have shown you how to calculate the month to date function using the dates MTT, right? And this time what I'm showing you is basically the quarter to date function. So let me just see if I have a way to duplicate this. So new measure if I click on what it will going to tell me is completely new measure. Okay, so I will say sales QTD and that will be your calculate sum of sales, right? And then I will going to show is the um, quarter to date sorry the dates quarter to date and here I will going to provide this key order date so this is the main thing the order date date there is nothing but a key value which I created in a separate table order date and let me show you how I did that so if I just press this now the quarter to date values are present and if I select this so what it will show me along with that as you can see month to date values are coming right so month to date value will going to stop at month as you can see it over here and for Feb it will restart again based on the value on the very first date of Feb but the quarter to date values are continuing till the end of the quarter and as you are seeing that it is taking calendar quarter not a fiscal quarter so that's a different thing like how you can specify uh, fiscal is is something i will discuss in a separate video so april 1 which is the next quarter again the counting or the summation started so that's something you can create and very quickly this key which i specified in the uh, in the dates uh, qtd function so this date is basically based on this table uh, order table this is nothing but automatically created table using the calendar function which is taking the minimum order date and maximum order date to create the entire values inside this range right and then we have uh, made the join from this order date table the newly created table using calendar function to the existing orders table on the order date right so this date and this date is joined and that is why that is how we are getting this uh, in the sales qtd function we are getting the order date date right this, this is the one what we are specifying and that's why we are getting the output if you are directly specifying the order date you will not going to get the output because this is not in a continuous form you can experiment with and uh, but you will not going to get the output if if it is having the missing values or something you know which is not set as per the con on a continuous fashion so with that um, that's pretty much i wanted to share and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic